Is there a bigger name than Oprah Winfrey? Talk show host, best-selling author, political influencer, business queen. Despite this array of successes, things have been a little bit quiet for Oprah lately. Impacted by a number of controversies that have stalled her career. Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments. Watch this video and let's explore her rise to fame, her successes and failures, the stale story of truly one of the most powerful women on the planet. Get ready to feel the Oprah effect. It was phenomenal, amazing, and still is. You know, it is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> and if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe because there's more videos like this on the way. A star is found. Born in Mississippi, Oprah's story is a typical rags to riches story. Raised in rural poverty, living with her grandmother and never knowing her biological father, Oprah leveraged her natural gift for public speaking, winning a beauty pageant in 1971. Oprah was scouted by the local radio station WVOL and was offered a part-time newsreader role. On the back of this success, Oprah was offered a full scholarship to Tennessee State University and not long after graduating was offered her first television role with WLAC in Nashville, making her the youngest and first woman of color to be hired as a newsreader on the show. Fast forward to 1984 and Oprah was given the role to host a struggling morning program called AM Chicago. Good morning everybody, I'm Oprah Winfrey, the new host of AM Chicago and I am thrilled to be here. After two years of hard work and a blockbuster role in Steven Spielberg's film the Color Purple. Oh my life, I had to fight. The show was renamed The Oprah Winfrey Show. The Oprah Effect. Oprah's show ran for over 25 years and became one of the most recognizable shows in the entire world. The Oprah Winfrey Show was syndicated to over 150 countries around the world and in the US alone would receive 40 million viewers a week. Many of the most prominent pop culture moments of the 90s were defined by Hallmark interviews on her show. Let's go through five of those moments. Number one, the weight loss trend. In 1988, Oprah wheeled out 67 pounds of fat on a carton to symbolize the weight she had lost on a liquid diet, leading to a popularization of weight loss programs around the world. Number two, the secret life of Michael Jackson. In 1993, Oprah gave the public the first glimpse into the private home of Michael Jackson on his Neverland Ranch. She also brought up topics with him that he was previously uncomfortable addressing. These include the color of his skin changing over time. So when did this start? When did your, the color of your skin start to change? Mm -hmm. But you know what's funny? Why is that so important? I'm a great fan of art. I love Michelangelo. Mm -hmm. If I had a chance to talk to him or read about him, I would want to know about what inspired him to become who he is, the anatomy of his craftsmanship, not about who he went out with last night or why he decided to sit out in the sun so long. What's mm -hmm. wrong with, I mean, that's what's important to me. And his traumatic childhood at the hands of his father. So he would tease you, make fun of you? Yes. Would he, did he ever beat you? Yes, he did. Yes. And that was difficult to take, getting yes. beaten and going on stage and performing. Yes. Number three, public acceptance of gay rights. In 1997, Oprah was joined by her friend Ellen DeGeneres, who used the opportunity to announce to the world that she was a proud lesbian. You're gay. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> Oprah supported Ellen on this segment and was met with a public backlash, with Oprah going on to say she received the most and worst hate mail of her entire career. Arguing with somebody who was telling me how all gay people are going to hell and now I'm going to hell. I take full responsibility for my going to hell or heaven. And I feel that everybody who's concerned about me now going to hell because I'm doing the Ellen DeGeneres show, I think that you all should take that energy and try to create a little heaven here on earth for everybody. And I, I take full responsibility for it. Number four, civil rights in Africa. In 2000, Oprah traveled to visit Nelson Mandela in South Africa. 
Viewers gained a never before seen insight into the 27 years Mandela had spent in prison. And the interview produced the famous quote that Nelson Mandela wanted to be remembered as a servant of the people. You are not even, not, a, not modest, but uh, a very humble man. I wanted to ask, how do you do that? The first thing is to be honest with yourself. Number five, Tom Cruise's infamous couch jump. After a divorce to Australian actress Nicole Kidman, Tom Cruise used the opportunity on Oprah's show to announce his love for then girlfriend Katie Holmes. He didn't do this in a regular fashion though. He decided to jump up and down on Oprah's couch, leading to one of the most iconic TV moments of all time. Oprah's Other Side Despite her status as a media legend, Oprah hasn't been without her fair share of criticism. Close relationship with Harvey Weinstein Oprah starred and produced in films that Weinstein distributed. These include The Butler and The Great Debaters. Although Oprah has distanced herself when allegations around Weinstein surfaced, celebrities like Seal and Rose McGowan have criticized Oprah for her close connections with the defamed producer. The Harry and Meghan interview. In 2021, Prince Harry and Meghan used Oprah's platform to deliver an exclusive interview to the world. This was criticized as ironic, given that they'd asked for privacy from the media multiple times. Oprah is a close friend of Meghan Markle, and many people criticized the bias of the interview given their pre-existing relationship. Were you silent or were you silenced? The latter. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. Oprah was accused of airing comments that had not been fact-checked, including the couple claiming that they had been married a few days before the official ceremony, not giving the royal family a right to dispute claims that they had ignored racial abuse towards Megan and ignored her mental health concerns. And the interview was aired while Prince Philip, Harry's grandfather, was still in hospital. Promotion of the secret. Basically, the message of The Secret is the message that I've been trying to share with the world on my show for the past 21 years. The message is that you're really responsible for your life. In 2007, Oprah dedicated two entire episodes to promoting a book called The Secret. The main principle of this book is that if you dedicate yourself to imagining wealth, fame and success, Simply imagining it will bring it towards you and your life. The book went on to sell over 30 million copies and Oprah was widely criticized by giving false hope to those in low to medium socioeconomic backgrounds. Oprah's Empire Today. Oprah Winfrey currently has a net worth of up to $2.5 billion. Unlike other celebrities who have partnered with large studios and corporations, Oprah had a majority ownership of her production studio from the very get-go. This company is called Harpo, and until recently, I never realized, but this is Oprah spelt backwards. Harpo evolved into a media juggernaut, and to understand the sources of Oprah's wealth, we need to break down the components of Harpo's structure. Harpo was organized into four parts. Harpo Studios managed the production of her show and the production of talk shows for other celebrities, including Rosie O'Donnell. At its peak, the studio was earning over $150 million, but today it's a little closer to $20 million a year. Harpo Films was the largest division of the company and it was behind feature films like Selma and The Waterman. Earnings from this division are at about $80 million per year. Harper Print launched Oprah's magazine in the year 2000 and went on to become the most successful magazine launch since the turn of the century, with approximately 2.5 million readers a month and a revenue of $65 million a year. OWN or Oprah Winfrey Network was founded in 2011 as a joint venture between Oprah and Warner Brothers Discovery. This gave Oprah her very own TV channel. 
Today, her ownership of this is only at about 5%, which means that it brings in an estimated revenue of $20 million per annum. So when we add all of this up, even though Oprah is not as active as she was in the past, the combined earnings from these properties bring in about $185 million per year. Assuming a profit percentage of about 10% from these earnings, and the fact that she would still command close to $50 million in advertising and appearance fees, it's safe to say that Oprah currently today earns in the vicinity of $70 million per year. In addition, Oprah has made strategic investments, including the Oat Milk Oatly, which is now worth over $2 billion, and owning approximately 10% of Weight Watchers, which is worth $450 million. There's simply no stopping the Oprah business train. What's next for Oprah? Oprah has been particularly quiet over the last few years, potentially reinforced by the outcome of the Harry and Meghan interview. Despite this, Oprah still remains extremely active on her business, charitable, TV production, and political endeavors. Her message was always, you can, you can do, and you can be, and you can grow, and it can be better. Oprah has recently launched a new TV show on the Hulu network called The 1619 Project. It's also said that she'll interview Michelle Obama on an upcoming Netflix special. Furthermore, given Oprah's support of Barack Obama's campaign, many people expect her to become even more active during the next presidential election. Some people also say that Oprah may go on to run for president herself, being the first female president in the United States history. What Whatever you think about Oprah, and despite some of the controversies discussed, Oprah will forever remain a pop culture icon and still has given away over a hundred million dollars of her own wealth to charity. Who knows what's next for the talk show queen? Perhaps another show, another business venture, or a run for president? If you want to be the first to find out, please subscribe to this channel and stay posted for more behind the scenes glimpses into the lives and business structures of the world's biggest stars.